Good evening. We're glad to have you with us. I'm Shannon New. And I'm Tim McGonigal. Members of law enforcement from across the state and Canada came together for Peace Officers Memorial Day. It's the day set aside to recognize law enforcement officers and families who've made the ultimate sacrifice to keep their communities safe. Every day, sworn law enforcement officers, deputies, agents, and troopers across Montana and across our country and Canada take it upon themselves to put their lives at risk, often while the rest of us are sleeping. Last year, 106 law enforcement officers were killed in the line of duty across America. Thank God none of them were from Montana. As a profession, we gather to give thanks for those who have laid down their lives in order to keep the peace of this great state, nation, and all of you who stand or sit here today. When one of us is shot or killed, be it law enforcement, fire department, EMS, dispatcher, detention officer, we all bleed. We will never forget the sacrifice of these heroes or the resiliency of their loved ones. You inspire us all. Ronald Reagan said, the future doesn't belong to the faint-hearted, it belongs to the brave. The selfless sacrifice of so many of our law enforcement is possible only because of their bravery. I want to say how gratifying it is to work in a state where there is so much mutual respect and collaboration by law enforcement who support one another and just want to get the job done. In Great Falls Police Week, we'll wrap up with the Great Falls Police Department's annual awards luncheon on Friday. 11 GFPD officers and two civilians will be recognized.